I V B N, the Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, including sports stars, actors and actresses, TV personalities, and professional wrestlers. Sports video blogs about the NBA. NFL, Major League Baseball, and the NHL. Professional wrestling video blogs, including angles, storylines, tag teams, and paid per view results. Entertainment video blogs about classic TV shows and movie reviews and cable networks, and television stations, and radio stations, and a whole lot more. Uh, VBN, Bellica, Massachusetts, since 2014. Hello again. This is Rich, Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Saturday, November 26, 2016. Around 7.28 in the evening in Bellica, Massachusetts. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, it's about 40 degrees out right now and a little overcast, but sunny skies tomorrow. Hopefully, you shop at a small business today because it's Small Business Saturday. Some news to report on the RVB and Newswire. Do 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 do. Um, BC football team beat. Wake Forest by the score of 17 to 14. They're both, both eligible because they have six wins. At the uh, Songus Arena in New, at, on the campus of UMass Lowell today, Long Island University at Brooklyn beat UMass Lowell River Hawks basketball team by the score of 82 to 78 in overtime. There was an appearance by Lucky, the Boston Celtics mascot, so that might have drawn in the crowd. And some sad news to report in the world of Hollywood. Actor Ron Glass, famous for playing Detective Harris on Bonnie Miller, passed away at the age of 71. So his prayers was family in this time of need. And that's about it on the news on the RVVN News. Why do 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 do? Be back Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with my third and final video blog subject tonight, which will be about the wrestling album that came out in 1985. Be back in a in a flash. Get out. You're so sweet, cause they're cute. I know, I know, I know. The more the merrier. I'm doing good. Wanna put a wager on that, Richie? I don't care about game shows. Go find something to do. This action will not be tolerated at BNHS. I have places to go, people to see, things to do. Great video blog quotes on RVBN. RVBN. Bellica, Massachusetts. I'm back. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about the wrestling album. The wrestling album came out in 1985. It was released by Epic Records and it was produced by Rick Dellinger, David Wolf, Jim Steinman, and Mona Flambe, which has a, which that's the alter ego of Cindy Lapa. And the wrestling album was by the WWE superstars. Them they did some sang some songs and they released an um, record album. And it was a you know a modest hit. It reached eight eighty fourth place on the Billboard Music chart for the Top 100 Best Selling Albums of 1985. And it came in a, like a 45 record and also a cassette. Eventually it was released as a CD in 1998 and in 2015. It was really released by Sony for the 30th anniversary edition of the wrestling album. And the wrestling album had these songs in it. They had Land of a Thousand Dances, which all the WWE superstars sang. They actually put out a music video for that 
on MTV and various WWE programs. It was a knockoff of the Land of the Thousand Dances song from years prior, and they had the faces singing with each other, and the heels singing with each other, like alternating. It was a very, very funny video. It was ended by Piper, um, like, Rowdy Rowdy Piper disrupting it. And then they have Vince McMahon and Jesse the Body Ventura and Mean Gene Okerlund do commentary through the throughout this um vid to introduce old songs. The first, the second song was "Grab Them Cakes" by Junkyard Dog. He singing backup was Vicky Sue Robinson. JYD was a big fan of Vicky Sue Robinson. And then the next song was "Real American Son." by Rick Derringer. And Real Americans, that was the original theme song to Mike Rotundo and Barry Windham of the U.S. Express. That was, and eventually it became Hulk Hogan theme music. And then the next song was um, Eat Your Heart Out with Springfield by Jimmy the Mouth of the South Heart. Which was a funny song. And the next song was the History of Music by Captain Lou Albano and George the Animal Steel was in the introduction to that song, The History of Music. And that, that, um, that was a song that was released a couple of years prior. Some other person sung it, but um, Captain Lou sung it this one. That, sh that was produced by Mona Flambeau who was Cindy Rilafa. Then they had the theme of the World Wrestling Federation All-Stars, Hulk Hogan's theme. That was his original theme, which they played on Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. And then the next song was Rowdy Rowdy Piper, a um, song called For Everybody. Originally, that was a pet. That was a variation of another song called Fuck Everybody, but they could not use that word because it was being released by the WWE at the time. The WWE was fan friendly. And then they had Mean Gene Oakland sing his version of Tutti Fruity, the classic song that Little Richard sung. Um, <laughs> um, Gene sung it. It didn't sound that great. My humble opinion, he didn't have a, you know, he didn't have a talented voice. And then the next song was Hillbilly Jim's Don't Go Messing with the Country Boy. And this was a great, great song that Hillbilly Jim sang. And then the final song on this album was Nikolai Volkov singing Karamea, which was actually his variation of a song of Karamea that was back in the 60s. And at the end of it, uh, Nikolai Volkov sang the Russian National Anthem, and M Mean Gene and, and, and Vince McMahon really didn't like that, but <laughs> he was saying, this is a American album, Jesse. And then afterwards, like, Jesse the Body Ventura wanted to sing a duet, a, it, like a trio at with Vince McMahon and Gene Okerlund, and then Gene Okerlund and Vince McMahon ran away, and Jesse the Body Ventura says, it's my turn to sing, let the body sing. I don't know if he would have, that would have made all the difference. It probably would have not been great for him to be singing, hey, and then a wrestling album was kind of fun to listen to. It was the first avenue of WWE going into music. And for some, a few years, some of the wrestlers came out to these songs as their theme songs. In the future, I'll probably have to reveal, reveal Pile Driver second album. That's coming up very shortly. And that's about it on these video blogs, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Tomorrow it's Sunday, so it's only two video blogs. First video blog will be about the classic television series, The Streets of of San Francisco, which ran on ABC between 1972 and 1977. Then the second and final video blog of the night 
will be about the Undertaker's ca character from 1996 through 1999 in the WWE, the gothic character he kind of had, which eventually turned into, like, the, the Ministry of Darkness for him. But it's going to be a little, little shorter than the one I did with him on this past Thursday because there are some subjects in there doing some t I'm like the some of the stuff I'm gonna cover I'm gonna be saving for a future video blog especially with like The Undertaker versus Kane Field and the Ministry of D Darkness so I have to cover that a little bit briefly in it because they have they'll go to their own video blog sometime in the near future and keep calm everybody I'm a Julie Button guy Molly Rose Blood, WCCO Rocks, and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hot so so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy. And the Church of WPIX Channel 11 New York, such a rocking cougars. Got the best legs in New York City, bar none. Um, Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has sweet southern accents, best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Len Claire of the HDH Channel 7 Morning Meteorologist in Boston has awesome legs as well. 2017, I promise I'll get all those cute lady blondes on my video blog to interview them one-on-one. -on -one. And in the meantime, and between time, that's another day of the Rich Video Blog Network Video Blog. See you tomorrow!